What is going on guys, it's your boy DPJ here today with another Destiny video and today I want to talk more about the leaked image of what's believed to be a promotional poster for the next major DLC expansion for Destiny. Now if you are a part of this epic Destiny community, there is no way you miss this info. I made a video on this actual leak myself and I stated how I believed the photo was indeed real. But since that video we have learned a lot more about this image and what it could actually be all about. A quite reliable source in Kotaku have confirmed this to be real in an actual promotional poster for the next DLC Destiny expansion. Two sources familiar with Bungie confirmed the authenticity of this poster to Kotaku last night. So what else has been dropped in terms of info on this new DLC expansion over the past few days? While the Rise of Iron expansion will feature a new raid and will be bigger than the two year one DLC packs. Development on this raid started last summer according to their source. Now Kotaku originally reported that the new raid is based on one that was cut from the House of Wolves. But this morning a source reached out to say that that was actually incorrect and the development of this raid had actually started from scratch last summer. The expansion which is expected to be this September should be officially revealed at E3 so just about a month from now which to be honest I cannot wait for. So this image, what is it believed to represent? Well, most people think that the titan in the image is that of Lord Saladin, as it's a titan in the Iron Banner gear. The DLC is called Rise of Iron. So could what we are actually seeing here is Lord Saladin and his defences at the Battle of the Twilight Gap. This is what most people believe, as Iron Banner itself, the reason of its existence is to honour the Iron Lords who help defend the city within the Battle of the Twilight Gap. It's also interesting to state that the armour of the Dead Guardians from this Battle of the Twilight Gap was used to create a line of heavy weapons, the Galahorns, and they were gifted to the survivors for their bravery. And if you guys want to learn more about the Battle of the Twilight Gap, check out the link in the video description. It explains a lot, trust me, especially if you're a little confused on the matter. So for sure, this is speculation. But if this is the route they are taking with this DLC and somehow we travel to the past to fight out the Battle of the Twilight Gap against the Fallen, maybe, just maybe, we may just see a year two or actually a year three Galahorn. Who knows? And yes, you did hear me say travel back. Time travel within the Destiny universe really isn't that far-fetched. I mean, look at the Vex with their time gates. Even more, the Exor Stranger. Where is that bitch hiding? I mean it's all possible, the route they can take with this DLC from our point of view and the actual poster and what info we get from it could be one of a million things. So let's speculate a little more, why not? Now these are mostly ideas and those what have been put forth to me while having discussions on the DLC with friends. So yes, maybe take it with a pinch of salt, but this is what I believe. What if this new DLC, Lord Saladin is the main man behind the DLC, but not for when we travel back in time to fight the Battle of the Twilight Gap? What if the fallen threat is now? What if Saladin is the main quest giver behind this Rise of Iron DLC expansion? And it's a quest we take to become the new Iron Lords in defending the city against a new threat of fallen enemies, hence Rise of Iron. Could it be our quest in becoming the new Iron Lords? It would make sense with sources stating that it will be a Fallen themed raid and DLC. I mean one could come up with many ideas which would fit perfectly with the also little information we have in just this one leaked image. It won't be until more official info is released that we learn the true factors behind this leaked poster. But a question for you guys, do you think Bungie would create a whole new DLC which takes us back into a story we already know, obviously though not through playing the game? Or would they create something completely new which would then pan out into the release of Destiny 2 next year? Me personally, I would rather, much rather actually play the part of a story we haven't really learned in game yet over playing new story with our experience in the past which are the blueprints to that new story we were actually taking part in. I'd much prefer to learn more about the destiny we have now through playing it than to forget its past and take part in its future. I mean in all reality they are biting themselves in the ass through not giving us what we want in more story on what we have at the moment. There's plenty of content there in reality to be made and 
from what we have in Destiny at the moment. And there's also plenty of time for new and future story to be added. Me personally, I feel we need to learn more about what we currently have before we move on. But that's just my opinion. You guys may feel completely differently about it. But let me know your opinions on this DLC in that comment section. If you have a theory on the expansion, please share it. But guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for stopping by as always. If any more info drops, and this poster or the new Rise of Iron DLC, you'll be sure to find it on my channel. Again, thanks for stopping by as always. Do drop a like, I do appreciate the support, and I'll catch you guys on that next one. Always in the wrong, knowing where we stand, but you and I will carry on. We never get it right.